Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your April 2018 general reading. I hope that everyone has had a really good start to uh, spring. Sorry guys, my mind just went blank for a second. Anyhow, um, I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera, but we'll give the cards a quick shuffle and then we'll get started. All right. Oh, let's go. Hope this is really good for everyone. We'll start with love. What are the love messages for Capricorn? True, accurate messages for Capricorn. Messages to govern and guide their lives. Do a quick Celtic cross spread for Capricorn. All right. And I'll take it because it fell face down. All right. The magician in reverse. Uh oh. I normally don't do reversals, you guys know that, but magician in reverse. Okay, we've got some, someone's, uh, you know, the master manipulator, of course. They're trying to have the desired outcome by any means necessary, right? The hierophant in reverse, okay? Um, someone may be, the hierophant is about, the esoteric is about, higher knowledge someone may be even using like you know i'm hearing spells and magic to get what they want whatever it is that they want you could be dealing with a taurus taurus could just be you know coming up as um being untraditional not wanting anything to be solid stable um or you're dealing with a, a manipulative uh aries gemini taurus someone who's trying to um they're using different methods to get a desired outcome all right and your present is the five of fire that's the five of rods so it's, there's argument there's petty arguing there's there's drama there's chaos there's indecision within yourself the basis for all of this is strength in reverse Someone is not having strength, is not mustering up the courage, the, the, the need be to get out of whatever it is that they're in or to um, get over a situation, okay? All right, um, that was way too many that fails. So just kind of pick those up and put those back in the deck. All right, the recent past, okay? King of Earth, that could be you, Capricorn, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Coming up in the highest element, King of Earth, making sound decisions, could be a little stubborn. Um, is worried about, you know, of course, stability and money. Money is stable with the King of Earth. Uh, monetary gain is always first with the King of Earth. Um, so that's really good. That's in your recent past, near future. Okay, we got the ace of air and the moon. So it looks like some, some truth may be revealed. It looks like some truth comes out and that the secrets are revealed in regards to, um, a certain situation. Uh, the Ace of Air or the Ace of Swords is here. So with this truth being revealed, you know, no one involved is going to look at the situation the same. No one's going to, um, you know, think the same way about maybe this, this relationship, I want to say. Oh, my gosh. Your power, two of air. So you got a decision to make. You know you need to make a decision. You aren't. It looks like some of you, right, with strength in reverse, you're just not doing what you need to do. You know, you're okay with turning a blind eye to it. You're kind of just letting yourself be caught or letting things just go as they will. You're okay with, you know, it coming out however it comes out, whatever it may be. All right, seven of water, three of earth. 
This could be the unfaithful spouse, broken promises, three of earth sitting on top of the seven of water is, you know, it could be third party. But this is third party where somebody's really trying to build a life. You know, they're trying to, they've been dealing with a, a, um, an outside person for a, a long time. It, it's not just, um, it's not just a, kind of like a, a fling or something like that. You know, it's more like an affair. Like they know this person and this person knows them. Hopes and fears, the sun, nice. You want clarity, you want truth. We got the moon and the sun here. So uh, things will be revealed to you. You will have truth and clarity. Come out with the ace of air and the sun. And when this truth comes out, the universe can then start to, you know, uh, take a turn in your favor. Um, shed some light, of course, on things, but positivity at the same time. The outcome is the seven of air. So someone being uh, a cheater, a liar, a manipulator, doing something behind one's back. Could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus here, Leo, uh, Pisces. Okay. Um, so it looks like somebody's trying to, you know, they've been very manipulative. Um they've turned this whole relationship upside down they don't want anything traditional they don't care for it uh, what's the seven of air what's the seven of air pull one clear up oh, two came out um temptation six of air so that's the devil card capricorn and the six of air seven of air six of air so maybe it's you capricorn trying to devise a plan of action to move away from the chaos the drama maybe the third party here Page of Earth, yeah, on the bottom of the deck. Someone has started something else with this Three of Earth and this Page of Earth. Something else somewhere else. The stability is somewhere else for someone. But they don't have the courage, the courage, the strength to actually go to their partner and say, Hey, you are not what I want. Um, I want to be elsewhere. You could be dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be anybody. We've got a lot of players on the table leo gemini aries taurus pisces yes so capricorn love is looking a little rocky for some of you some of you are trying to get out of a situation um and it looks like you're not you want to do it the cowardly way like you're just gonna let yourself be caught you're not really going to, um, you know, go to your partner and sit them down and tell them how you feel. It's more so, hey, if they catch me, they catch me, and then I'll deal with it then. Um, but at the same time, some of you are trying to devise plans to get out of said situation. But it's not, it's, it's not prevalent for you is not pressing it's not a pressing issue you know um it's kind of like for you for some of you not all you have but it's like whatever comes first if i get caught first okay if i can see a way out of this and make a plan to get out of this relationship then i'll do that you know if that comes first whatever comes first here what are the love messages for Capricorn? We'll do one more spread for Capricorn love because I know that didn't resonate with every Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn love. This is unreal. <laughs> the magician in reverse in the same position. Someone is being highly manipulative highly oh yeah this is a ooh. the energy i'm getting with that is like this is a highly manipulative person messenger of air gemini libra aquarius someone's rushing in giving their truth they're coming upright the basis for all this is the eight of water someone walking away from 
a situation that may look put together from the outside, but all parties involved know knows that it's it's not working and someone's choosing to walk away page of fire in the present all right page of fire in the present you're getting a message a message of action someone's giving you a conditional message you need to do this then i'll do this or i'm doing this if you don't do that uh, it, this message comes in and it calls you to action. Um, yeah, it could be a, a, a child too. If not a child, a younger fire sign you're dealing with, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. All right, in the recent past, nine of air in the reverse. Nice. So some of you are not giving much mental attention to a situation you're coming out of restless and sleepless nights you're coming out of anxiety the king of earth or a king of fire in reverse someone's highly manipulative highly um promiscuous uh a charmer super charismatic uh, the king of fire in reverse a ladies man or a woman ladies woman no a man's like whatever y'all know them <laughs> uh you know um someone who is very um outgoing they're beyond outgoing you know like they're just out there with the king of earth king of fire in reverse this is a person who has no boundaries what they want is what they want um very narcissistic very self-centered very into themselves you could be dealing with an aries sagittarius leo page of air in your power so some of you could be spying um, doing your research on a certain situation in a certain situation trying to get out of a certain situation having harsh words with someone seven of water in the same position the unfaithful spouse broken promises options someone creating illusions and disillusionment could be this this master manipulator this king of fire in reverse wow uh wow i've never seen that though. um and that's and that's external to you seven of water you, uh, hopes and fears hangman so of course you, you're waiting for enlightenment you're waiting for the other shoe to drop you're waiting for another piece of information you might even be spying outcome strength and reverse some of you are definitely dealing with a leo uh, strength and reverse someone who's who's not taming themselves king of fire wants what they want when they want it cares about themselves and themselves only is worried about fun, fun in the sun, fun with other people, just doing whatever it is. And then the higher friend in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this person doesn't want anything traditional. If they did in the past, now they don't. They want to have fun. They're worried about themselves. They were definitely self gratification, uh, promiscuous, irresponsible. I mean, there's so many things. That this person, strength and reverse, and the king of fire could be up to. I mean, this is a, this is a mad person. Like seriously, this is a, this person cares only about self. Seven of water here. Broken promises. They have no problem saying what you want to hear and meaning none of it. All right, so let's move on to career and finance. I'm so sorry to hear that, Capricorn. If you are dealing with a fire sign or someone with fire in their chart or if this person sounds like a person you're dealing with, then, it, you know, it resonates. Um, if this is not someone you're dealing with, then, you know, great. Great, 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 for real. Like, because that's, ooh, I wouldn't even want that for my worst enemy. Like, that's crazy. That's a, man, that's, that's the type of person you tell them 
exactly how you feel. You can have tears streaming down your eyes. And they just don't care. They don't care. Or they'll act as if they do care. And still go and do the same damn thing. Like, you know, like, wow, that's, that's just praying for my Capricorns who are dealing with that. That's scary. Or if you are that person, Capricorn, come on, get yourself together. Don't, it's all right if you like to play in the mud, but don't drag other people in it with you. You know, go play in the mud by yourself. All right, so career and finance. For Capricorn, career and finance for Capricorn. What are the career and finance messages for Capricorn? Career and finance messages for Capricorn. My cards are all, all over the place today. All right. Career and finance for Capricorn. Career and finance for Capricorn. Career and finance for Capricorn. Right, page of wands, star, nice. It looks like a message comes in of um, maybe wish fulfillment, something you've been waiting on, something you've been waiting to do uh, in your in your life, in your career, um, something you've been waiting on that's going to bring restoration, healing to you. That's really, really nice. Nice, nice, nice. Message comes in, and it, it takes you to action. You know, this message takes you, oh, like, oh, you get a message of, um, we're going to settle if you're in a court case, or, um, you, you might get a message from a friend or maybe an associate that this company, this firm over here is hiring, and it's like your dream job, your dream firm to work for, all right, these two want to come out, and the basis for this all is the sun and the five of cups. Right, it's bittersweet. You, you, this newness coming in, this wish fulfillment coming in, this restoration, this healing type of energy coming in, it's bittersweet. You have to let something go in order to get this with the sun here because it's positive with the sun here. Nice, nice, nice. Really, really nice. All right, in the recent past, Six of Cups. All right, so you could have been having some nostalgic thoughts about Maybe an old job, an old career, old co-workers. Um, just really having um, nice memories of, of the past in your career in finance. The outcome, nice, six of pentacles, charity. If not charity, this is the payoff, the payout you've been waiting for. Nice, nice, nice. Your energy to Capricorn Virgo Taurus. It, this this money brings in um, equality. It brings you back to balance. You know, what's the near future? Near future. Four of Swords. Nice. Take a rest. Be concerned about your health. Some of you may fall ill or are ill, or you know someone who is ill. Engaging in, in prayer and meditation about what you want, your power. Nice, the Empress. This brings you to a place of where you can create the abundance that you want for your life, however you want it to look. Really, really nice. And really, really nice uh, energy. The Empress is uh, is fertile, not just, of course, uh, in terms of becoming pregnant but you know with child but pregnant with new ideas pregnant with um a zest for life pregnant with um better energy better health right, external to you external to you all right here we go Oh my gosh, external to you. Ten of Wands, Knight of Cups. Somebody's laying down the burden and wanting to offer themselves emotionally. 
wanting a, a, a job, a career that fulfills them on an emotional level. They're laying down a heavy load of, of um, some of you work in, in manual positions where you do a lot of manual labor. Some of you don't want to do that. You want to do something that fulfills you on a creative level, that that uh, drives you, your drives your creativity. Hopes and fears is the Ace of Swords. So you, you want to get truth and clarity. Truth and clarity, a final decision for some of you, be a court case, court court um, proceedings coming to an end, getting a final decision. Some of you just want truth and clarity. Uh, maybe about did I get the job um, am I going to get this contract am I going to get the money um, yeah some I keep hearing that now, I did want to say some of you like need truth and clarity about what you like to do what you want to do you want to get clear on what really drives you on an emotional and creative level the outcome is the chariot card you could be dealing with the cancer if not it's just that you're moving forward in victory. You've got control of everything now that things are um, are pressing forward for you. And, and it looks really, really good. Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups. Nice. You get that fast, active communication. Some of you are moving. Uh, yeah, some of you are physically moving. If not physically moving, um, getting a new vehicle, physically moving, moving forward. In a certain situation in your career and finance, um, moving away from a, a situation that looks very cushy to other people, but um, you knew it didn't fulfill you on an emotional level. Things are moving fast for you. Bottom of the deck, the high priest is listen to your intuition. For some of you who are not clear on what you love or like to do, or um, get yeah, Engage in prayer and meditation about that. Ask spirit to speak to your heart and your mind as to uh, what brings you balance. Or at least quiet, ask spirit to quiet your, your mind so that you're a little bit more aware of how you feel about things. All right. Moving on. Let's get some three cards of advice. Three cards of advice for Capricorn. All right, three cards of advice for Capricorn. Career and finance looks really good. Looks like if you're waiting for something, it's coming in. All right, three cards of advice for Capricorn. Nice windfall, end of an era. Yes, end of waiting for this money. Windfall of good luck, windfall of money. Um, windfall of good energy, good health, end of an era of a for some of you a bad era, an era of um, in a relationship, uh, with on the job, with a career, with a certain company. But it's the end. It's the end, and it looks like good things are coming in. And but you have to end something. It's bittersweet. You have that five of cups, dietary change, seeking and finding what you are seeking. Is seeking you also all right and we did have the page of swords remember seeking and finding don't go seeking and looking for anything if you're not going to do anything about it okay if you don't have a, a ready plan of action i mean like if you know what you're going to do if you find what you find um don't do it if you're just looking just to know and then you don't know what you do afterwards live in oblivion please just live in oblivion it's okay some of us you do your best work in oblivion i don't know you know i've been there we've all been there until you're ready to actually take action so whatever you're seeking is seeking you to seeking and finding know that if you are spying on somebody you could possibly find out what you want to find out it's gonna hurt it sucks but if you're not ready to take that next step don't do it but you've got good things coming in with windfall end of an era dietary change pretty self-explanatory whatever you think you need to change about your diet the here's the universe telling you yes you need to change it not me the universe 
you already thought about it here's confirmation so if these messages resonated with you please like share comment subscribe to the channel it's all appreciated thank you to those who already subscribe click that like button click 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 comment comment let me know uh how this is working out for you um Capricorn, thank you for tuning in. All of my information on how to contact me is below. If you need to schedule a personal reading, follow me on Instago. Ask a question or two. I can pull questions. I can pull cards for you. Answer questions within maybe four to six hours in a 24-hour period. Uh, what else? Follow me on Instagram. My handles are below. I thank you, Capricorn, for tuning in once again. Uh, remember Capricorn, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you, so pray for me as well. Take care, guys.